You know, you just don't want to have the regret of not listening to that thing that saves your life. A well-known photographer in East Tennessee is sharing her story after suffering a heart attack in Cades Cove. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes joins us with her story and how doctors say heart attack symptoms in women, nothing to take lightly. Gabrielle? Robin and John, the CDC says heart disease is the leading cause of death for women in the United States, but only about half of women know its dangers. Now, one East Tennessee native is hoping to change that with her story. Two weeks ago, photographer Kelly Sharp was in her happy place. I was in Cades Cove taking pictures of sunrise with a friend. When something felt really wrong. Got a weird feeling in my shoulders, like a pinched nerve. That pinch turned into pain, and that pain started to spread. It was moving down, like, further into my shoulders and in my right arm a little bit. Sharp says her friend suggested it could be something worse, and then she thought... Something in me said, Kelly, you might be having a heart attack. She's right. Her husband would take her to the hospital, where she says two cardiac nurses saved her life. The two nurses knew I was having a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp is one of thousands of women with symptoms different from men. Dr. Eric Pinneman says that fact is really important. The big study showed 43% uh, of women don't have classic chest pain when they present. That's compared to 30% of men. And when it comes to women ages 25 to 45, it can be deadly. 22% of all causes of death is due to heart disease in that age group. For Sharp, these key points are what saved her life. I'm just trying to stick around yeah. for my kids and my grandbabies. After surviving one of the scariest days of her life, she now has a fresh take on living and a new commitment for women and their health. Well, I already do, yeah. I already do. I'm, I'm so glad I'm here, yeah. you know, just glad I'm here. Now, doctors say a good rule of thumb is to stay active, avoid cigarettes and foods with high fats, and keep an eye on your cholesterol. And, of course, call your doctor if something feels weird. Robin, John. You have to be so aware. All right. Gabrielle, thanks.